William Nylander is getting a ton of criticism right now from Leafs fans. And you know it's bad when people are critiquing your play in game 82 with the playoff standings already set. So the Leafs dump the puck in, Willie gets a stick on it, and he just sort of slowly skates by the defender who gathers the puck up. They end up hitting Brandon Hagel, who is snuck by the Leafs changing D, and he scores on the breakaway. Just a beautiful goal and pass by Tampa. But this looks really bad for Willie, and I'm not sure it's necessarily quite as bad as people are making it out to be. Like, there are plenty of players, I think, in ordinary situations which wouldn't touch the puck and risk the faceoff here. I think you could argue that in this case, he probably would have been better off forcing the faceoff simply because Tampa had a pretty clear breakout forming, although I don't think anyone expected the change in the breakaway. The problem was really no one on Toronto was skating, and Willie, you know, he was the poster boy for that. Overall, though, I thought the Leafs had a dog shit game, and again, it was meaningless, although Austin Matthews was trying to score goal number 70. However, really, he got plenty of chances. There's a lot of debate over whether how you end your season once you're in the playoffs really matters. Personally, I think it does. I think momentum to a degree does carry over, and habits do as well, but I also do not play in the NHL. In the final four games of the season, though, the Leafs gave up at least five goals in each performance and also lost each game. But the playoffs are a completely new season, and on Saturday against the Bruins, that will be the real test. It's just, it's kind of a worse situation because Nylander does have a bit of a reputation of fading away, and a lot of the Leafs stars do in the playoffs especially, so we'll have to see how things go.